Tristan talking about Mexican brain cakes. Thanks, Steph. Hi guys and gals, Tristan here for Amazulu and let's talk about Mexican rain cape. What is Mexican rain cape? Well, it's strips of palm leaves that have been woven into capes and it got its name because people used to literally drape them over their shoulders to protect against the rain. They'd use them for clothing, they'd use them to stay warm. But nowadays it's just the most affordable thatch option that's out there. It comes in sheets, rolls, and rounds. Now the sheets are 42 inches by 42 inches. I don't know why that's the standard size, but it is. And they're incredibly versatile because, and let me come up here and show you something. On the back of this, they're woven with these tight knots every inch, inch and a half or so. And what does this mean? Well, let's say you're doing a long tiki bar, say a 15 foot face on the tiki bar and you want to cover it all, but these are only 42 inches. Well, you can zip tie these together chain them together and because of the way the thatch it's so fluffy and the way it, fall, it falls over you won't see the line which makes it really really neat so you can configure this any way you want conversely let's say you have a mexican restaurant or a tiki bar with an awning over the booth and you want to thatch the awning but let's say the awning's only 30 inches or so so what do you do in that case well again you see these knots you can trim this you can cut this above the knot and because these are fixed points of contact, it's not going to unravel. So this becomes an incredibly versatile material with what you can do for it. So you have the 42 by 42 inch sheets. They also come in rolls, 35 inches by, I've seen them 40 feet long, 60 feet long, and it's the same material. It just might be an easier format for what you're doing if you're doing like a long roll. And if you're doing something commercial as a sidebar, these can be fire retarded to a class A fire rating. Why is that important? Well. For some reason, fire marshals get kind of twitchy when you hang dead leaves in a public place of business, but we've got that covered. We can class A fire retard this. The third configuration are rounds. These are circular weaves, seven and a half feet, nine feet, 12 feet, and they're made to go right over umbrellas, which is really cool, because let's say you're a water park or a resort or a theme park or a homeowner with an umbrella near your pool, and you think, I think I want to theme this. I want to make it a little bit more fun, teakify it. All you have to do is take these umbrella capes, put it right over your existing umbrella, zip tie it around the ends, and boom, instant theming. And it works even better in a way if you have an existing umbrella because these rain capes, you'll see that it's an open weave and it's kind of, even though they're called rain capes and they kind of repel the rain, they're not watertight. So if you have an existing nylon or canvas umbrella top, this is perfect because you're going to get the themed look and you're still going to be waterproof. Now, if you're a Paradise or Outdoor Grilling customer, if you have one of their outdoor kitchens, the 12 foot cape is the exact size that came with your grill. So if you decide that you want to change that and replace it, piece of cake, we've got the 12 foot. So indoors, this stuff will last indefinitely, but the only asterisk, if you will, is that if you use it outdoors, they're dead palm tree leaves. And what happens when you put a dead, a dead leaf outside? Well, it starts to decay, it molds, it rots, it attracts bugs, birds will nest in it. So that's the downside of this. And so a couple of years ago, we at Amazulu pondered this conundrum and we said, is there a synthetic version of Mex Mexican rain cape? And, and not the cheap party store plasticky stuff. We're talking about a good high-end thatch that looks real. And we literally searched the globe and there wasn't one. So we sent a natural Mexican rain cape to Indonesia, to the world's largest manufacturer of high-end premium synthetic thatch. This is a thatch that we sell to theme parks and resorts and zoos. And we said, hey, can you guys duplicate this? Can you weed this out of your incredible synthetic thatch? To which they said, da, or whatever Indonesian is for da. And they did it. And the result is, Tim, roll that bad girl right in here. Check, check this out. This stuff looks amazing. It looks real. And they duplicated this. It even has the weaving on the bottom, but you can't cut this one. You can cut the natural rain capes. I wouldn't cut this, but they look incredible. What does this mean? Well, no mold, no rot, no mildew, no bugs, no maintenance. You just put this on your roof, and you enjoy it. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to change it regularly because with the natural, outdoors, it's gonna last anywhere from maybe eight months to a year and a half. It just, 
it doesn't hold up very well outdoors because they're just leaves. But this puppy is going to hold up an incredible long time. And as you can see, it looks amazing. Now, the only thing to keep in mind, these umbrellas are going to weigh between 30 and 65 pounds, these umbrella covers, depending whether it's seven and a half feet or 12 feet. So before you put it on your umbrella, you'll want to check to make sure that your umbrella is pretty sturdy. Now, if you're a commercial operation, theme park, water park, restaurant, you already have industrial heavy duty umbrella. So you're going to be fine. If you're a homeowner though, you might want to double check, make sure the pole and the struts look pretty solid because otherwise it's just going to collapse the whole thing and that's not going to do anybody good. So you want to check that out. And like with the natural that can be fire retarded or non-fire retarded, the synthetic can come fire retarded or non-fire retarded as well. Crazy easy stuff. So Mexican rain cape, affordable, You've got options, fire retarded, not fire retarded, sheets, rolls, rounds, whatever you need. Keep us in mind, whatever your project is, give us a call. We'd love to speak with you about it. Thanks.